exciting episode of the Million Dollar Peddlers. I'm Paper Guy. And I'm Mr. Magazine. And I'm going to ask you a question right now, Mr. Magazine, and I'm, mm-hmm. I'm not trying to get deep. I'm not trying to get, you know, my home that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but where does it all end? Oh, yeah, that's, that's a deep question. But by that, I mean, we've been doing this, gosh, 1998. So we've been doing it 25 years, online yeah. sales and the like. And every year we get more and more people selling us stuff. We buy more and more things. Yeah. Our stores get bigger and bigger. Our unlisted inventory, inventory gets bigger yeah. and bigger. Where does it all end? What what happens? That's a good question. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> the simplest one is probably when I took all can... about four seconds to think of that one. <laughs> yeah, the simplest one is when, when enough is enough for someone or they're ready to retire. Yes. You know, but then you still have the problem, what are you doing with your store, your inventory, and so forth? Um, or when you just want to change, maybe you're just sick of, you know, or you made enough money. It all depends on who you are and what your goals are and what you expect out of this job that you enjoy. If you love it, you can do it till you die, you know. Um, again, the whole buying thing, I don't know where it ends for me. I'd love to sell out at some point and make my life a little easier down the road. Um, I don't think I can do that anytime soon. You know, well, maybe in the next five to ten years, I'd, I would love to do something like that. But again, I have to find someone that wants to be like a younger me, and then take that business on and grow it or whatever. So I, I want to get it more turnkey. Um, that is my goal. But the, again, it all depends. You know, if the things if you're not happy with what you have, maybe you want to try a different venue for uh, selling or a different career path. Who knows? You know, it all depends on the person and their goals. Well, because here's the here's the problem that I see. I've got. 50,000 unlisted items. <laughs> it's going to take me a couple of really good weekends to get those all listed. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I really enjoy the buying. Mm-hmm. And if I'm buying, I don't know. Well, basically at this point, to, to let you behind the curtain and let you know some real numbers, I'm selling between five to 6,000 items a year between different venues, not counting whatnot because I sell a lot more items on there, but a lot of a lot of that is just stuff that I just get in and get right back out. So I'm not kind of yeah. not counting that. Between eBay, Amazon, Etsy, probably 6,000 items I, I end up selling a year. I probably am listing 7,500 items a year, something rather mm-hmm. like that. And that's with the day job and yeah. all that. There's only one little problem, Mr. Magazine. Can you guess what it is? I would say your your dead inventory is growing and growing. And growing. I'm buying ten thousand items <laughs> exactly, a year. <laughs> exactly. So if you buy ten thousand, you list seventy five hundred, you sell six thousand. Yeah. Eventually, something has to give. Yeah. Well, and that's the point I'm having with my employees now because obviously we probably have a half a million items that are disposable that could be listed. You know, and some really good stuff. Um, and right now we hired a few well, more. How employees. would you know? Well, I'm, I'm <laughs> guesstimating, yeah. But I uh, hire a few more employees, and right now our our payroll is at an all-time high, I think. Sales are down, which kind of sucks, but I can't take on any more employees right now. I just wouldn't, I would not be, make, I'd be losing money, like I'd have to borrow money just to keep more employees going on. And, you know, they have stuff to list, obviously, but again, anytime we get a new employee, I'm not getting any money back off my investment You got right the learning now. curve, yeah. Yeah, they got to build it up. It's going to take months, months, and even years sometimes. So that's, what, I'm getting a little pinch on that right now, but... You know, again, it's uh, when sales are he- heavy. Maybe I can swing another employee or two, but right now we're pretty tight. Yeah, just I, I guess because I was thinking about this a little bit this afternoon. Um, you know, having the day job and all, and I'm not really wanting to do it, so yeah. I'm just sitting there staring out the window. Sure. And, How many uh, days until one? Why? Well, Why it would be forty-six uh, weeks, two days. Oh, nice. As we're filming this, but who's counting? Um, but. I, I still would want to go to the deals, you know, still go yeah. to the flea market and that. And what I'd like to do is go to the flea market, just kind of to go socialize, talk to people, and walk out of there buying seven items. Yeah. You know, you spend $5 an item, and they're $70 yeah. items each, and you're happy. Yeah, so you want to sc- scale down quantity to scale up quality. That's... The working plan. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> but I know as well as you do that a wind up happening is I'll start looking at some even even with that plan in mind, I'll start looking at some guy's table and he'll go, I'll take the whole box, ten right, bucks. Exactly. Yeah. And I'll be looking through it going, Well, that's a twenty dollar item, that's a twenty dollar item, that's a twenty dollar item. How do I not take this box for ten dollars right, yeah. when there's sixty dollars worth of first <clears throat> three of the first six items that I see yeah. are worth double what I'm paying for the whole box. 
Okay. Yep. Uh, and that's what gets tough. And I, I don't want to get deep and philosophical here, but the number of days that I can continue to do this are limited. I mean, they just are, you know. Well, even if they weren't, though, but say, you know, a week from now, someone comes in and they have 50,000 pieces and it's a great deal of a lifetime. How do you turn it down? You know? Yeah. You know, it's, it's, they're out there, and if you find them, you'll be in the same predicament as me or anyone else. You know, you want it, or you flip it, or you take what you want and flip it and so forth. But, yeah, we're not turning down any good deals. Right, sure. and, and, and I guess... I guess we've said before one of the most important things is to know yourself, and I think that's really, really important to know that about me, that I can tell you all day long. I mean, beginning of this year, I said I'm going to try to buy less, and, well, I, I have been. Yeah, all right. I think I'm on pace uh, right now to spend $18,000 this year, oh. whereas the last two years I've spent $32,000. The only thing is... We haven't hit flea market season yet. I haven't hit any of the big the big shows that I go to. Yeah. So far, I'm doing better. That's good. Um, well, it's funny because I was on pace this week to spend eighteen thousand, <laughs> and after these three big deals, I walked in and I told my sister, my manager, I said, "I'm not buying anything else the rest of the week. I'm going to be be really tight, strict, and not buy much." Well, like a half hour later, someone came in with a vintage Hot Wheels collection. And then old magazines, you know, and then there you go, have it. Back to the old drawing book. So it's, uh, it's tough. It, it is hard to do. So kind of want to hear your ideas out there as well. Again, it's it, there's a lot of fun. You never know what's going to come in the door for you. You never know what I'm going to find at a flea market or a sale. And, you know, that the thrill of the hunt is real, and it is a lot of fun. And you dig through stuff, and you're like, oh, wow, I just found a $40 item for a dollar. <throat> I mean, that's kind of hard to turn down no matter yeah. where you're at. Now, sure. certainly I turn down the 5 to $10 items at a dollar a piece, unless you're getting, well, a dollar a piece I do no matter what. Yeah. But I'm trying to turn down the 5 to $10 items unless I get like a whole box of them for, you know, $10 for the whole box of 50 right. of them, that exactly. different story. Right, right. Um, in which case, something like that. I've gotten to where I either lot them out on eBay or I, I sell them through whatnot and, right. you know, give people a good deal on that, too, because I'm into them, right? Sure. You know, if I'm into yeah. them for 20 cents an item and they're worth $5 an item and I can sell you three of them for three bucks, yeah, hey, you're not? making money, I'm making yeah. money, we're all making money, everybody's you happy. You putting the time and effort to listen to them, storing them or nothing, they're gone. Right, they're in, they're, in, they're out, and yeah. give other people a good deal as well. Let them make money. Sure. Um, so it's just kind of it's kind of interesting to see, especially as the – countdown clock and the retirement goes and i'm beginning to think more and more and more um because i look over your shoulder and i see a big pile of books over there too, yeah. and i probably got a list at some point yeah uh, and they weren't there last video yeah, those, are, those are easy <laughs> unless you have ten thousand of them stored anyway um, in a warehouse <laughs> for years <laughs> hit the like button if you could and we will see you next video take care bye-bye <laughs>